Hi, I'm Celine, technical writer with Smart Learning Suite Online. So previously, I showed you how you can add some activities to augment your lesson and get students collaborating with each other. Today, I'm really excited to show you a new feature. We've added the ability to extend um, access to this lesson outside of class. So I've got a couple pages of content here that students could review to review the concepts that we've studied together. And I also have this collaborative workspace that we started working on together in class, but I'd really like students to be able to continue working on it outside of class. And to support that, we've added the ability for students to sign in. So when students go to hellosmart.com to connect to my lesson, they now have the option to sign in or join as a guest. So students can sign in using a school email address that's connected to a Google or Microsoft account. So here students can enter their email address and the password that's associated with that account. And now they're connected to Smart Learning Suite Online they'll see a list of the classes they've joined recently. And you'll also notice in the top right corner here, there's now some account information so you can see the student's email address because their student account is now connected to Smart Learning Suite Online. So we'll go ahead and have the student join my class. And now you can see the students connected to the lesson I was presenting. So now, as you can see, Min is connected to my class. And unlike my other student, Jamie, who's connected as a guest, Min is actually fully signed in. So I'm going to go ahead and start the workspace so students can start collaborating and working together. We'll put everyone on one team um, and just make this a whole class assignment. You'll notice this message pops up warning me that students aren't fully signed in. That's because Jamie is connected as a guest. And what that means is that if she wanted to access this lesson outside of class, she won't be able to because she wasn't signed in. Um, but Min will. So ideally you'd want all of your students to sign in first if you want to share this lesson with them outside of class. Um, and you can see that the students are collaborating. They're starting to click on or circle some landmarks here. Um, let's say that the lesson has ended for the day. We'll go back to the library but I'd really like my students to be able to continue collaborating in that workspace. What I now have the option to do is by tapping on the More menu here and choosing Share Link, I can actually generate a link that I'm then able to copy. So it tells me the link's been copied to my clipboard. And now what you can do is you can actually post that link somewhere, whether it's on your LMS or for me here, I'm going to open up my Google Classroom. Um, and I'd like to create an assignment so I'll go ahead and type in a title for it. And once I've added the title, now I can attach my link. So we'll go ahead and paste in the link that I've copied from my clipboard and choose Assign. And now this assignment is saved in my Google Classroom. So all students have to do is come here and click on it and they can be connected to the Smart Learning Suite Online lesson. So now when Min's at home, he can go to Google Classroom and my class shows up there. So he can select my class and as soon as the class opens, there's the assignment with the link to the Smart Learning Suite Online lesson. So Min can go ahead and select that and a copy of the lesson appears and he can choose to sign in to open it. So students can sign in using the same credentials they used in class. And once the lesson loads, he can jump right back into the workspace that he was contributing to in class and keep adding content to it. So now the next day, back in my lesson library, I'm going to open up the London Landmarks lesson and have a look at the work that students contributed outside of class. So I'll open up the workspace again and resume it. And now we can see that we have Min's new contributions that have been added. Um, and in this way, students can keep contributing in a workspace, especially if you create a bit more of an extended activity and you want them to build more into it. They've got time. They can collaborate over multiple days. Um, so if you like this new feature, give it a try. Let us know how it's going for you in the comments. And if you'd like to see more updates like this, be sure to subscribe to the Smart Support channel and keep an eye on the new features in Smart Learning Suite Online playlist. Thanks for watching.